It's 2024 and Back to the Future promised us flying cars. But what did we get instead? Wireless charging! Well, that's almost as cool as flying cars, right? Right? Okay, let's at least pretend it is for the sake of this video. No more tripping over cables in the dark or bending your cables into weird yoga poses just to make them work. But a sales pitch for wireless charging is not why you clicked on this video. So, how does wireless charging actually work? First of all, there are two different types of wireless charging that work slightly different. One type is called inductive and the other resonant. The transmitting and the receiving part have to use the same technology or it won't work. There might be exceptions with building compatibility, but don't rely on that. With the inductive type, your phone, smartwatch or whatever gadget you want to charge has to cuddle up with the charger because close proximity is required. And I mean close, otherwise it will not charge. Inside the charger, there is a copper coil that creates an electromagnetic field when an alternating current passes through it. This happens every single time an alternating current passes through a cable. That's the reason cables have a layer of plastic or another shielding material around them. If they didn't, they would constantly interfere with each other. And as you probably assume correctly, the alternating current comes from the power outlet when you plug something in. The alternating current does not only create a magnetic field, but it creates one that changes direction. The change usually happens 50 or 60 times per second, and we refer to that as 50 or 60 Hz. The electrons inside the receiving coil react to the change of the electromagnetic field and start moving around. But they can't go wherever they want because they're trapped. Since they cannot escape the coil, their moving back and forth is what creates the power for your phone battery. The same thing would not work with direct current. Why? Because even though it would create an electromagnetic field, that field would not be changing, it would be stable. That's not what we need for wireless charging. We would need an inverter to transform it into alternating current. And that's not very practical, therefore we don't use that for wireless charging. But before the charging process can start, transmitter and receiver have to negotiate a few things. First, they have to check if they both operate within the same frequency range. Yes, cool. And if that's true, they have to agree on how much power to use and a couple other insignificant details that are not important for your understanding. I promise. But because we don't want to waste energy, the transmitting coil is not immediately creating a magnetic field as soon as it's plugged in. Instead, it waits and keeps checking if a receiving coil is close enough. But how does it know that you placed your phone on the charging mat and not your keys? Both parts have communication protocols programmed into them so they can speak the same language. If you place your keys on the mat, they will do nothing. Because keys can talk. And if they could, they wouldn't speak the same language. But your smartwatch does speak the same language and will tell the charger, hey, I need some juice. Some manufacturers even include fancy weight or pressure sensors into their transmitting unit. Resonant charging works similar, but now both parts have resonant circuits inside that are tuned to the same frequency. Basically, the transmitter works on a smaller area and is more efficient because it doesn't have to cover a wide range of frequencies. This also allows you to be a little sloppier with your placement of the receiver. It doesn't even have to touch the transmitter if it doesn't want to. As you can see, resonant charging is better, and because it's better, manufacturers choose this technology in modern gadgets. That's it. Now you know how wireless charging works. And if you don't, go watch another video or something. If you enjoyed this video, please transmit a like and a subscribe.